touchdown. 25 yards to the house, and the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and they will take a seven-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown, and cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked by Kenneth Murray. Still staying on his feet. Are you serious? And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Tablets it up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed out one by the line of scrimmage. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They go again to Tomlinson, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A great play there. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Chargers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead now up to 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Okay, ready. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Out of the gun now on third down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kenneth Murray. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Over 
They'll go up the gut with Tomlinson. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Herbert just beat the play clock. Eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Well, you got to think Charles Atwin's on the quarterback as everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Cameron Dicker on now to try to field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. They run on second down with Adams. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Here's a second and three now from the 33. They stay on the ground, Tomlinson. And not much running room, down to the 32. At this stage of the game, with a score where it is, the key here is to in bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do 
late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. 31 yards. And the Chargers are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point try now from Dicker. And the lead is now 24. Makes the score. Chargers 45. Steelers 21. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys Let's are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late, not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Another throw there off the mark. And obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question. And my suspicion is he's been... And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. On the handoff, Tomlinson. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. That is caught, and he is going to have the Chargers first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact,
Can I talk my Come on